Well, across the country, many gathered for Easter Sunday celebrations and services included two churches in Toledo that don't have a building to gather in after a violent EF3 tornado wreaked havoc last Tuesday. But as they prove today, they don't need one. They have their faith and nothing is stopping that. Six News reporter Bailey has the story. Songs of Hope. Songs of faith. Songs of rejoice. The foundation is still here, but the true foundation is the people. For the first time since the tornado wrecked havoc, members of the First Cedar Valley Baptist Church in Salado gather. Yeah, we had a storm. It tore down the church building. But I'm going to tell you something. It's made the church even stronger. Amen. Surrounded by destruction, but as 11-year-old Asa Gooden says. Nothing is going to stop church from happening. It's always going to happen. Their faith is stronger. The Goodham family, along with hundreds of others, met on a slab of concrete. In foldable chairs, no hymn books. Pastor Donnie Jackson says it's what was meant to happen. I had no doubt in my mind that this is where God wanted us to have it, right here on this slab. This is where the healing starts, the rebuilding, not just of the building, but even of the people starts right here. Right in front of the cross, one of the few items left untouched by the storm. Everything almost in this building was destroyed. Yet some of the most fragile things survived. A couple Bibles, an offering box, and a plate with a hopeful message. If we don't have any other message today to learn, it's that we need to be near the cross. On Easter Sunday, a day to celebrate resurrection, but for First Cedar Valley Baptist Church, it's about so much more. That building means nothing compared to the cross Amen. and what he did for us. And with the help from above, they'll continue rejoicing. Immediately, this building is going to be resurrected to the house of God. As the foundation yes. keeps yes. their faith. In Salado, Bailey Bates, Six News. The location of the future services remain unknown for First Cedar Valley Baptist Church, but they will continue. A GoFundMe account for the church and its cemetery has been created. If you would like to donate, you can find that on our website, kcentv.com.